And this week's about your retirement. We're talking about what you need to be looking for when choosing assisted living for you or your loved one. Jim McWhorter is with me now. And uh, good morning. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Good oh, yes, it was great. Yeah. What are some important questions that you should ask if you are looking into assisted living? Well, Jennifer, there are a lot of very important questions to ask when you're searching different uh, assisted living communities. And I think probably the simplest way to do that is to get a copy of the Senior Resource Guide. This was developed by SeniorLivingOKC.com. And I know you were one of the first people to ever see this. And I, I'll always remember you commenting that it's like a dictionary guide to mm -hmm. senior living. And, and that's what it's designed to be. And you simply open up to the uh, section on assisted living. Here it lists 13 of the most important questions to ask in your search process. Checklist. Checklist. <laughs> and that starts right with uh, who owns the community? Mm -hmm. Are they local? Um, what kind of dining options are available? Uh, what, what kind of lifestyle enhancing activities are there each day? All very important questions and I think a perfect way to, uh, to process uh, all of your information. Uh, it sounds like it could save you a lot of heartache in the end if you have all of that up front and you know it all right right then. Absolutely. Well, what about, uh, we've talked a lot about right sizing and having a right sizing checklist and that could actually save you money. Yes, and uh, and I know a lot of times when we've talked about right sizing it's because people think they're downsizing when they move to assisted living. Yeah. And we talk about right sizing whereas it's more than just getting rid of furniture you don't use anymore, things that you don't use anymore. But in the uh, Senior Resource Guide, there's even a uh, comparison list here to show uh, all of the right-sizing features that you have besides the physical moving out of things. Uh, there are many savings that you have when you move to uh, assisted living, such as from now on things will be provided that you don't pay for electric bills and gas and water and insurance and all of these things, all great reminders of, of right-sizing and how much that's going to help you with your uh, future. All right, so you should sh shop around a little bit absolutely before you make a decision. All right, Jim, thank you so much. And you can tune in every Sunday morning at this time to learn more about retirement issues and elderly